Okay, Ezekiel chapter 10. And I looked, and behold, in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubims, there's the cherubims again, there appeared over them as it were a sapphire stone, that would be about blue, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne. Likeness of a throne. Not a throne. God's throne is in heaven and when he's transported on this cart kind of wheel cherubim thing and this is from the vision early in, in Ezekiel he sank unto the man clothed with linen that's the one who had the acorn it said go between the wheels here are those wheels even under the cherubim and fill thy hand with coals of fire in God's holiness you will find a lot of references to fire the Bible says our gods are consuming fire there was a brazen altar that had fire there's an incense altar that had fire here the cherubim have a, a I don't know if this is the incense altar of theirs but they got coals of fire from between the cherubims and scatter them over the city now they've already sent out the six men with weapons in their hand slaughter weapons and he went in went in in my sight so he went in in my sight that's what it's saying now the cherubim stood on the right side of the house, the temple. And if you're looking to the east, that would be north. Because you enter the temple of east to west. When the men went in, and the cloud filled the inner court. Now the court is not the temple. The court were buildings and outbuildings around the temple where there would be stock inventory offices then the glory of the Lord went up from the cherub and stood over the threshold of the house the temple and the house was filled with the cloud as you saw throughout the time with Moses in the tabernacle and when Solomon set up the temple it was that cloud cometh with clouds Jesus Christ was taken up in a cloud and he said as he went up so he will return and the court was filled with brightness of the Lord's glory our God's bright shiny colorful and the sound of the cherubim wings were heard even to the outer court as the voice of the Almighty God when he's speaking so the wings of these cherubims have a particular sound to how God sounds and we ought to know from Ezekiel because he's heard God speak. He's heard the wing. And it came to pass that when he had commanded a man clothed with linen, notice there's no acorn. Take fire between the wheels and between the cherubims. Then he went in and stood beside the wheel. So this must be some colossal sign if a man can walk in. This is no little rinky dinky kind of thing. And one cherub lift up his hand from between the cherubims onto the fire that was between the cherubims and took thereof and put it into the hands of him who was clothed with linen 
who took it and went out. So fire doesn't bother them. Fire is not bothering this man in linen. I believe it was Isaiah that was a cloth of, of, of hot coal that was put to his lips. The appearance, and there appeared in the cherubims the form of a man's hand under their wings. So the Catholics will have these cherubims as angels, and they're not angels. When I look, behold, four wheels by the cherub, early in Ezekiel. One wheel by one cherub, another wheel by another cherub. The appearance of the wheels was the color of a barrel stone, and that would be green. Our gods are mighty colorful. If you see all his His entire, all that he has made, color. It's only the darkness of the devil and wickedness of evil that destroys that color. As for their appearances, the cherub, they four had one likeness. They all look the same. As if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. Rotary. When they went, they went upon their four sides. They turned not as they went. That would be remark remarkable to see. They didn't turn like a car or an airplane. They went north, east, west, or south. And but the place whether they whether the head looked, they followed it. They turned not as they went. And their whole body and their backs and their hands and their wings and the wheels were full of eyes round about. Even the wheels that they had for had. As for the wheels it was cried unto them, O oh, hearing, O oh, wheel. Hollywood could never come up with what, what is real in the Bible. Everyone had four faces. A Christian has two faces. First face is the face of a cherub. Other places we see an ox. So a cherub is likened to an ox. Gee, I'm wondering where they get the golden cows. The cow that can't smell chicken. The golden arches. And the second face was the face of a man. And the third face, the face of a lion. And the fourth face of an eagle. We talked about that. The cherubims were lifted up. This is the living creature that I saw by the river Shibar, or Shebar, that was early in Ezekiel. So this is all, but it's repeated for a reason. Because it's important, we're going to see this in heaven. And when the cherubims went, the wheels went by them. You know, it doesn't ever say that the wheels are connected. They say there's cherubims and wheels, and a wheel and a wheel. But it does not say they are attached. And when the cherubims lift up their wings to mount up from the earth, that means to go up. So they can go north, east, south, and west, and they can go up and down. Man would call that a helicopter. The same wheels also turn not from beside them. So the wheels remain where the wheels are. In direction. But we know the wheels are spinning. When they stood, these stood. 
When they were lifted up, these were lifted up themselves also, the wheels and the cherubims. For the spirit of living creatures, or creature, was in them, the wheels. Then the glory of the Lord departed from off the threshold of the house of the temple and stood over the cherubim in that firmament that was likened to a throne. And the cherubims lifted up their wings and mounted up from the earth in my sight. And when they went up, the wheels also were beside them. And everyone stood at the door of the east gate of the Lord's house. Now these are the ones where the sunrise service was going on. And the glory of God of Israel was over them above. Everyone, did they see it? Or did only Ezekiel see it? Because not everybody gets to see, as we saw with the Apostle Paul on the road to Damascus. As Elisha with the man, and he says, The Lord opened the eyes of this young man, and he sees there's horses and soldiers in the mountains. This is the living creature I saw under the God of Israel. So God's above these creatures by the river Shebar, early in the book. And I knew that they were the cherubims. They're creatures. They're called beasts. They're called cherubims. And they're not those little babies, those little fat babies that the Catholic Church will draw for us. Don't listen to Catholic Church. They don't read their Bible. Everyone had four faces apiece. So there are 16 faces. Everyone four wings, 16 wings. And the likeness of the hands of a man was under their wings. And the likeness of their faces was the same faces which I saw by the river Chebar early in Ezekiel. The lion, the man, the eagle, and the ox. Their appearances and themselves. They went everyone straight forward. So this is a repeat. And Ezekiel's recording it again. Because this is actually what happened. And Hollywood cannot imitate what God can do. <laughs> 